I can't move around too much. It shakes everything. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Now that things are settling down, I can get to something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, which is to make videos about van life. And it was really hard to do before while building in the van while trying to live in it and staying at someone's house. <laughs> so I thought, what a great first topic. And here are my top five reasons to not build a van while you're living in it. Number one, space. You will need space to do this. When I ripped this van apart, I literally took everything out. The fridge, the oven, the oven, the stove. <laughs> Uh, the bed, the cabinets, the overhead cabinets, the sink, like you name it, it came out and it's gone. Um, you can't just do that at like a parking lot. You can do minor things at hardware parking lots and what have you, but you're, you're not going to do the whole you know, deconstruction at a parking lot. It's just not going to work. So you will need the space to be able to do this. And depending on how fast you can get that stuff to the dump, it might sit for a few days. And uh, if it's sitting for a few days and you're staying with somebody, that might be on their lawn. So that's inconvenient for everybody. It kind of makes you work a lot faster too, knowing that they can't mow sections of their lawn because you have your shit there. So number one, space. Number two, sleeping. You will need a place to sleep. Assuming that you're not staying in somebody's house, you will be staying in your van. Your van has now become a construction site and will stay a construction site until you are finished. This means everything is dusty, dirty. You can't find things, you know, uh, there's holes in the wall <laughs> where vents used to be for things like, let's say the fridge, the heater that you have just ripped out uh, and you have covered with a plastic bag and duct tape. <laughs> so number two, sleeping. Uh, yeah, your, your bedding is just, it, it's gonna be dusty for a long time, long after you're finished even. Dust doesn't just go away because you've decided you're done. <laughs> you can you can vacuum and clean, but it's dust, it's, it's fine. It gets into things and will stay there for quite a while. You'll be breathing that in when you sleep too. That's something to keep in, in mind, sleeping. Don't, don't build a van while you have to sleep in it. Number three, cooking, same kind of idea. It's, it's just always dusty. It's not dirty, dirty, but it's like construction dirty, you know, and you're trying to prepare food. It's, it's not fun. Number four, your stuff. When you're living in your van and doing the reno, you can't find anything. So just give up, <laughs> give up trying to find your things. They have gone into some black, uh, you know, void or abyss of a place. And, and once you're all finished, you'll just keep finding things for days afterwards, not when you need them, but when they just decide to come back. <laughs> uh, you, you won't be able to find anything. So that, that favorite shirt or what, where, where those, those sandals go or that charger. Um, I can't tell you how many things I have not been able to find. I know they're here. I brought everything back into the van. <laughs> yeah, some things are just still missing or hiding, whatever. They're not missing. They're here, but they're hiding. So, you know, it's going to take weeks of going through things, trying to reorganize, finding things, reorganizing again, just to get everything kind of back where it should go. Man, the shake in the camera. <laughs> I don't have leveling jacks yet. So yeah, there's a little bit of a, of a shake <laughs> if I move too much. But yeah, your, your stuff is just gonna disappear for a while and you, it's the most inconvenient thing ever, but it, it's something that happens. So another reason to not build while you're living in your van. What's number five? Number five, relaxation. There is no relaxation when your house, which is the size of a giant can, is a construction site. There, you can't relax. Everything that's unfinished seems to scream at you until it's done. You can't find anything, as already mentioned before. There's there just is no relaxing when your house is a giant disaster and uh, and you can't take your time. You can, but it feels like there's a lot of pressure because everywhere you look, something's unfinished. This isn't done. That needs to be done. This, that, the other thing. Yeah, there's, there's absolutely no relaxing while you're living in your van while building it. Bonus number six is time. Uh, depending on where you're set up, to deconstruct and reconstruct your van, you might have a certain time limit. So as far as relaxation goes, that might be just right out the window if you have a time frame before you have to leave. So that means you have to have the van torn apart, rebuilt, and it sounds like it's finished 
after the rebuild, but there's a fun third part that's almost just as much work as both the first two combined, and that's bringing all your stuff back in. Because you can't just throw it all on the floor and then just be done with it. You have to organize it back into places and make sure that the build you made functions with your stuff too. Uh, I've had to make a few small adjustments, but adjustments where I still had to take everything out in a certain area, fix something, and then put it all back in. So time is a thing. And if you don't have a lot of it, I wouldn't even bother doing it because if you're caught halfway through and have to leave and go somewhere else where you can't set up or you don't have access to all the tools or whatever, it's just gonna be a nightmare for you. So yeah, time is the bonus number six. <laughs> Those are my top five plus one <laughs> reasons to not build your van while you're living in it. Please learn from my mistakes. Uh, have, a, have a better, more organized, you know, plan before you do your van build if this is something you want to do, which I do highly encourage. It's a lot of fun, but but plan it better than I did. <laughs> Be set up a lot better than I was and, uh, and have a lot more fun doing it. So yeah, thanks guys and I'll talk to you soon.